and talk to black men. Uh, you know, co in communities all over this uh, this nation, uh, and all over the world, men are the heads of their communities. And I don't care where it is, whether it's in uh, Japan, whether it's in Korea, whether it's in Africa, men are the head. For far too long in this community, uh, women have been left to try to hold up our end of the bargain. Whether you are unemployed and struggling or not, all of us need to come together, brothers, because it is through the strength of brothers that communities can continue to, uh, to be strong and vibrant. But we are relying on our sisters to hold down the fort, which is what we've been doing. It is no wonder uh, that, that our communities are in disarray. And I don't mean that as a knock to our sisters. They do a tremendous job in holding things together. But in order to uplift our community, in order to bring our community back to where it should be, in order for our community to be where God intended it to be, then the men must be at the head. You can't, you have to talk about the definition of what a man is. And one of the things that we talked about in the meeting that we had three weeks ago, men's only meeting, it was inspiring. that We taught and gave young men, uh, the deaf males, the definition of what a man is. Somewhere along the line, there are many males in our community who have not been taught the definition of a man. And so we have to begin there. You have to ask yourself, what is it? Because there are males and there are men. We want to bring males uh, into the fold and make those males understand what being a man is all about. So I'm reaching out to you, brothers, uh, this year. We're going to send a message loud, strong, and clear that because you're unemployed does not mean you can't be a man. Uh, because you don't have any money in your pocket does not mean you can't be a man. We're going to show you ways uh, that you can certainly aspire uh, to more than just uh, sitting on a porch or walking around uh, your neighborhood with other unemployed brothers. Uh, if we teach you uh, the proper way of becoming a man, then you will create jobs yourself. Your communities will become safer because the true definition of a man is one who's willing uh, to support and protect his women, his children, and his community. Unfortunately, brothers, far too many uh, males in our community don't know that and because nobody's ever told them. Join me this year as we reach out and mobilize and organize and begin to take our communities back. And the only way we can do that is by teaching our males how to become men. And then they, in turn, will teach our children and our sons how to become men. At that point in time, we won't ever have to reach out to anybody else to uplift and support our community. We will have the God-given ability that he's put in all of us to protect, uplift, and control our own destinies.